Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ultimate Team of the Season came out today at FIFA Ultimate Team, and I want to talk about the content and the market movements that we saw today with the new squad building challenges, the new team in packs, or the re-released team in packs, and of course the objectives that came out as well, and kind of just the lack of hype uh, of Ultimate Team of the Season, which is, you know, honestly, coming to think of it, uh, this is basically just a rebrand or a re-release of all cards that we have seen already. How much hype can really be generated on a day like today or a, a, a week like this week with Ultimate Tots for new content other than SBCs and objectives, uh, which we did get a few of today. But first, I want to look at the team that is re-released back in packs because if there is a W from today, I think this is the biggest W. The fact that they actually put in all of the best cards, in my opinion, all of the best cards uh, from the 98 to 99 rated range uh, in the game, right? Mont, we got Van Dyke, De Bruyne, Neymar, Mbappe, Lewandowski, Ronaldo, Messi. We got all the 99s. We got a lot of 98s. And then, of course, we did get a few 97s. Of course, all these guys are 94 rated or above in this team of the season, um, with the lowest rating ones being Henderson, uh, Carvel Hall, and Summer. And, uh, those guys down at the bottom, I mean, you think about it this way too, right? We saw this last year with Ultimate Tots, and it's again happening this year. It's just the way that it has to be from an EA point of view. They have to put in some cards that are pack fillers, right? Hummels, Oblak, Luis Alberto, Summer, uh, Immobile, Carvajal even. It's like some of the lower tier guys, they have to put those into the game because it's just EA, right? They're not going to give out uh, the most insane, cracked out, juiced, um, ultimate tots cards if they put like literally the 23 or 22 best um, tots cards in total into a squad and called it ultimate tots that would just uh, not be good for EA because you know uh, they just can't do that I guess they think they can't do that I think they could um, but that's just the way that EA operates whatever reason um, this is the way that they run things right and we've come to learn we've come to know that there's going to be some of those cards in ultimate tots like there always is that are pack fillers that are just really not the best value and for whatever reason it is it is june and ea just can't full send it for whatever reason i don't know that's just another conversation but i think the team selection for this ultimate tots is if you look at and compare it to last year it is better it is decent it is good is what i would say we got all the high rateds in there and then we got some solid lower rated rated ones as well to fill out the rest of the team so i still think that is a gg in terms of the team we got one sbc today and ea was very quiet uh, on social media today i think they're kind of observing uh some silence um with all the stuff that is going on in the world right now uh, on all the change that is happening and and the movement i think ea was reserving uh some of their own views with that today um and w by by not tweeting out and by not um you know making a big scene with their new content on social media so we didn't get any announcements from EA today, FIFA related, um, except for um, we did get some content in the game. So usually they, they tweet out this stuff. They didn't today. We got flashback Mertens as an SBC, and we did get an objective. If you run a Serie A squad, this guy is very, very meta. This guy has always been a very good card in FIFA. People have been using this dude since day one. His gold card, some of his first informs, the shapeshifter, the headliner, then a very hyped up card because of the 99 agility, 99 balance. He fits the meta. He's a short little dude that can dribble very well, that can spin circles and, you know, get into tight places and has the high dribbling stats so he can play well in bad gameplay, which makes this Mertens uh, a pretty good card. I think this is pretty expensive. I don't know what the exact price of this SBC is. I'm going to take a check, but it's, you need 285 squads and 86 and an 88. And this squad is 450,000 coins at the moment with high rates being very cheap. So this isn't, you know, to be honest with you, if this, this was a TOTS card and he was in the game, I would expect him to probably be around like maybe 500k to 600k at this point um, in game. If that was his actual TOTS card, possibly. So uh, I feel like that's a, you know, this is a decent value flashback Mertens. If this is somebody that you need or want in your squad, if you're in a Serie A team, maybe you've got flashback Allen, who's linking to left back Alexandro, who's linking to left wing uh, Insigne, and you want to add a striker in there or a center attack in mid. This is a very good Mertens card that you could definitely go out and do uh, over the course of this week, possibly, right? And that's one thing 
Um, I have a, I quick sold a bunch of Tots cards that I packed as duplicates last night when we were opening a bunch of packs and had crazy ridiculous pack pulls. Um, I I still have a bunch of those in the unassigned, so I might end up crafting Mertens just because of the fact that I have to use my quick sell recoveries within a certain time period, and what depending on what other SBCs EA drop out this week, I gotta use them at some point. So we will see what happens with those. Uh, we got a Tots moments gorillish today as well which i think this is all uh you have to do all this through rivals you have to score and assist in seven separate rivals wins with premier league midfielders so if you're a jack grealish fan uh some people thought he should have got a tots card i think i actually included grealish in my tots premier league prediction video so he does get noticed here with a tots sf moments card and then of course we did get a new season today got some new objectives um, the season progress with some new uh, donuts. Nice. We have a, a donuts TIFO, some fire, and some best friends. Some of this stuff in here, man, is really funny. And I actually saw something today um, that they reused. Like, supposedly this is a reused uh, a badge, I guess. I, I did not know that. But um, these are the ones that people care about. Uh, you know, the level 15 players, they're, it just kind of is what it is. Um, these are, none of these players are really end game. In my opinion, these are just kind of cool, cool cards that if you're Portuguese, if you're American or maybe a Bundesliga or Spanish kind of, uh, fan in FIFA, um, you know, if any of these cards strike your fancy, that would really motivate you to get them. But other than that, these cards really do not look that good. And by the time you can get to these cards anyway, a hundred thousand XP needed 41 days. This season is going to take us all the way into July, mid July. Um, and we'll see what happens then, but we're probably going to have footies rolling around in this time frame inside of season seven. And, uh, that's going to be uh, another just slew of crazy upgraded juiced out stats cards, uh, coming into FIFA where these, these storyline cards are just not going to be that relevant. McTweedy looks pretty good from this. In my opinion, some interesting links as a uh, French CDM. Uh, this will be a card that I think most people will go af after uh, at level 30. Draxler looks pretty good with a chem style, possibly. He's got good stats and a good weak foot. And then Gabriel Jesus, I guess this is our Footmas Jesus uh, that has been resurrected, I guess you could say. <laughs> Footmas Jesus is now in the game, uh, and he's got a three-star weak foot, so that's a bit irrelevant. Uh, but he does have 99 agility, 99 balance, so some people are going to get interested in that card there. And the rest of these... We have some very interesting celebrations uh, and stuff going on. So for objectives, you know, it is what it is. I think we have some more of these uh, the, these master passer. I think this is maybe because of Pirlo, um, but there's some new objectives inside of here as well. Ronaldinho Tifo, that's cool. A lot of guys might go after that. A Pirlo Tifo as well. Uh, so again, we did get new objectives today. Those are what those are, man, because uh, it's just kind of the end of the year. And if you're really grinding objectives still, uh, you're kind of crazy, in my opinion, uh, unless there's something in there that you really, really want. Notice as well, icon swaps have gone away. That is Gonzo, Dunzo, see you later. Icon swaps are done, uh, as far as we know, for FIFA 20. They are Dunzo, so that's interesting. I feel like that might uh, have let people will be less motivated to maybe do some objectives because they don't need XP. They don't need to, you know, do icon swaps for uh, to complete any of those to get anything icon related. So that is done for basically the year as well. So kind of an interesting day on foot. A lot of people were just feeling that today's content was just kind of meh, right? They just kind of thought today was just kind of meh, right? I mean, what do you expect to an extent though? Um, because ultimate team of the season is basically, again, just a re-release of the best or best, according to EA, whatever squad they release, the best team of the season cards. Uh, they just re-release them. Like That is the whole point of this. Messi just dropped 100k right before my eyes as well. He was literally just 2-5, 2-5-5, uh, 2-5-6. Two, two, five, five, two, and uh, somebody packed him tradable and then listed him up here at 2-4-9. So uh, this is the next thing I really want to talk about is the market this weekend. The market this weekend. This is the last like quote unquote hype weekend until we get some more information about what's going to stay in Reds and in Foot Champs rewards. Uh, they should keep team of the seasons in rewards for the coming weeks. That's what they've done in the past. But uh, again, it just all depends on what EA wants to do with that. I really think you're going to see a massive, massive sell-off in the market today. You're already starting to see 
uh, some of the prices maybe trickled down into Saturday already. I would be very, very careful with that, especially team of the season cards. Now, were there market movements today? Absolutely, there were market movements today. I'm gonna show you what happened today. This is a normal, this is a normal promo Friday, man. This is nothing out of the ordinary. We talked about it yesterday. We talked about a period of time where stuff would be low. It would probably rebound and be high after the lightning rounds. And then stuff's gonna start to trickle down, stay a little bit higher on, on Saturday and then throughout the evening, Saturday and into Sunday, really start to tank and to go down. You can see it with Surgeon Avery. He was 290,000 coins this morning. Kind of bumped back up to 330 and is now back down to 306. So that's what you're really starting to see on a lot of these cards is a lot of the cards hit their peak two or so hours after lightning rounds uh today on the market. So there was some panic selling in this morning, in the morning for sure. Look at KDB. This is a perfect example of panic selling that happened because still this is still a 99 rated card that is very hard to uh pack on this game just because he's getting re-released into ultimate tots and getting a lot of supply day one uh you know there's a lot of panic selling on this card the day one there's still a lot of people that want to buy this too there's hype for weekend league people could get these cards in rewards next week think about somebody who's going to get top 100 next week man somebody getting top 100 next week if they get the almost the worst cards uh you're guaranteed you know a couple million coins honestly if we look at the 11 worst players one two three four five six seven eight so if you get all eight of these guys there's a mill right there uh so you're basically all of these guys if sancho is still 700k after the weekend league which i doubt he will be probably like in the 600s but we're at least like 1.5 million coins from those from these guys right here and then if let's say you get lucky and you you get a, a mane or you get a um a Van Dyke or, or, you know, you're going to see a lot of the crazy, crazy cards pop this week in rewards, especially like a top 100 set. Um, and even elite rewards could be really, really, really juiced this weekend. That's why there's a lot of hype for the weekend league. And that's why you saw a lot of these cards bounce back up today. Uh, but after this weekend, the hype really, really, really starts to die because there's not as much to play for with these team of the season cards. Because a lot of people think that since Tots is over, what else do they have to play for? So that's why you're going to see a lot of prices really drop off this weekend. And of course, these TOTS prices are going to drop off a lot as well because uh, they were supplied more on the market today. Of course, with more supply and less demand, think about that equation. More supply, there's more cards coming on the market and less demand overall. These cards are definitely going to slide down in price. What I just showed you with the bounce back during after lightning rounds with the Conte and with the Surge Nabry Tots card, lots of cards did that today, right? Maldini, I bought this at 1.39, sold it at 1.5, decent profit there. I bought this at 1.2 mil, sold at 1.29, so there's decent profit there as well. I literally got on the market for like 20 minutes today um, at most, and I was checking the Icon 59th during that third lightning round for like, you know, 10, 15 searches honestly is what it was on the companion and i did find a couple deals that i was able to flip today but that's just kind of normal promo friday trading as people open packs they get some coins and there's a little bit of a market rise or seriously the rest of the stuff on the market i would be very very pressed to tell you that you should probably be selling a lot of your cards asap if you have a chance for tradable cards in your squad sell them asap Wow, looks like I undersold my Maldini by a lot. He's 1.59 right now. Jeez, I don't know if he's selling there, but that's crazy. Um, I would say be very, very adamant about getting your games in as fast as possible because, again, a lot of sell-off this week, right? If this, if they're setting the stage for SBCs this week with a flashback Mertens with, you know, that's a pretty solid SBC and a pretty good value SBC, in my opinion, Um there's still a possibility for a Prime Icon Upgrade SBC to come out as well. If they would have dropped that SBC today, that would have single-handedly changed everybody's uh, perplexion, in my opinion, about how the game was viewed today and how about how the content was viewed. I feel like a lot more people would have been hyped up today uh, if that stuff would have come out. A Prime Icon Upgrade, which still very well could come out this week at some point if ea wanted to do that we shall see what their plans are this week for ultimate tots speaking of icon sbcs right we always like to take a look at the cheapest players by rating and man these guys are getting cheap today man because of course there is mertens but how many people want mertens to do an sbc like that when they can just go on the market and buy all these crazy tots cards 
uh, for a really, really cheap price as well and still be able to have those coins tradable. So 84s are getting back down to 3K range, which is definitely viable for a club stock, I guess you could say. 85s are getting cheap. 86s are getting cheap. All fodder all around is getting cheap. And the only thing that I think has the possibility to make this rise, two things have the possibility to make fodder rise this week. A prime icon, repeatable SBC, because people would sell stuff. People would sell brand new TOTS cards to go do a prime icon SBC. They really would. For, dude, people love icons in this game so freaking much. It's unreal. So people would do that. That's, that's number one, right? Prime icon upgrade would definitely rise the prices of these cards in the market. Option number two, the ultimate TOTS guaranteed SBC. That is another thing coming this week that could rise fodder prices on the game. And everybody's going to do that SBC. If you think people aren't going to do it because it's going to be high rated, it's going to be too expensive. Think again, man, please think again, because EA can get away with a lot with the current prices of SBC fodder. This the guaranteed SBC that could come on Wednesday could very easily be like an 88 or an 89 rated squad. And I could see EA requiring two TOTS cards. I really think they could do that because that wouldn't even be that expensive for a lot of people. Most people in this game can go do an objective, get a TOTS card, put it in their club, um, or they've already done objectives and have TOTS cards in their clubs um, that will make those SBCs a lot cheaper. Uh, but that would be the second thing that could make fodder rise this week. So if you're a fodder investor, I would seriously look into starting to Think about buying probably some 87s, probably a couple 88s, 86s. If you like investing in fodder, I like the 84 all the way up to 88 range. I think for golds, for gold cards that are SBC fodder, that's kind of my range at the moment. And I would probably just buy them sooner rather than later, man. A lot for the past couple weeks, the, the Friday goes by and then like early into Saturday, people start to buy their fodder because they know there's a guaranteed SBC coming. And they just want to stock up on it and they want to be early. Um, and then sometimes we get more SBCs after that, which actually rises fodder up a bit more. So if you still have, or if you still want to invest in fodder this week, I would say look into it sooner rather than later on maybe some open bids. Uh, of course, we had lightning rounds today. They sold out lightning fast and there were saved up packs as well uh, that you definitely had on the game today as well. So it's crazy that lightning rounds are selling out like hotcakes in june it is june people all right please please why are you buying fever points in june okay i'm not condemning you if you do that but just rethink about this game has three months left and you're spending money on it and it's gonna literally i can understand maybe if you're gonna spend fever points at the start of the year that's your best value time to spend your money on this game um but three months to go in the game and lighting rounds are selling out like this it's just crazy 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 what this uh what EA have created with this game and, you know, the stigma that you have to buy FIFA points to get packs, to get coins and stuff like that. You don't have to do it, man. You really don't have to do it, okay? You can learn to trade. You can flip cards like this on the market, like even these icons. It seems really, really scary for a lot of people to trade with cards like this. You know what? I was once super duper scared and never even thought in my entire lifetime i would be able to buy an icon card like this back in fifa 16 on the xbox when they were legends when they were legends i never thought i'd be able to afford a legend in my entire fifa career right well here we are i trade multiple of them per day i've got them in my team all sorts of stuff so if you're somebody out there who spent fifa points i don't know why i'm talking about this right now but i feel like it needs to be said if you're somebody spending fifa points you don't have to all right that option is out there just saying so again back to the market right i really think you want to start to cash out on some of that stuff uh maybe some of the out of packs informs uh investments that you maybe made today as well like we i was looking at the shapeshifter conte a lot this weekend as a french center back investment a link investment uh to a lot of the league un tots cards this guy rose up to three hundred and eighty thousand coins um on the the peak the tippity top of the peak of the selling and the rebound today He's back down to 360 on the PlayStation. I would seriously get your stuff out soon because this market's really going to go down this week as a lot of the hype is going to be lost. One thing we have to kind of mention is upgrade packs. And that's a big question. A lot of people have asked me, what is EA going to do for upgrade packs? I really, really don't know. Um, I hope they do some sort of like 82 plus guaranteed double because that would be something where you could get all a chance at all these team of the season cards from that kind of pack. 
Um, but it's going to be harder to pack these this week. It really is going to be harder to pack them because you're not just focusing on one league anymore like it was last week with La Liga, excuse me, League Un, or, or the weeks prior with a specific league being in packs with those premium upgrades or with the the upgrades per specific league. It's going to be harder to pack these this week, in my opinion, just because they're spread out amongst all the leagues uh, and stuff like that. So I do think we'll get some sort of upgrades. Not sure what it's going to be, uh, but I would expect the same kind of uh, thing to happen on Monday. We'll get some sort of upgrade. And then on Thursday as well, probably the premium upgrade, I guess. I don't know how much hype there would be for that, but we'll be definitely doing tr uh, trying to do some of those. If I do upgrades, I think I would focus on the Prem and I would focus on the La Liga because... The Premier League cards that are in Ultimate Tots, I have not packed Mane, I have not packed De Bruyne, I have not packed Van Dyke, and those three cards would be unbelievable to pack. I've already packed Alexander Arnold and Henderson uh, in my team, so I already have those. But if, if if I could get a Van Dyke, a De Bruyne, or a Mane, that would be dope. And then uh, of course, if I could get a Messi or a Benzema, I know those are the only La Liga cards, right? Are Messi and Benzema the only La Liga cards? Carvajal, I've got him already too, but and Oblak as well. But Messi and Benzema will be dope. I might try a few um, Bundesliga for Lewa. I might try a few Serie A for Ronaldo. We'll just we'll test it out. But uh, if you guys are still wanting an Mbappe, a Neymar, or a um, a Ben Yedder, those cards are still going to be packable this week if they do some sort of league un upgrade again, just like the ones that went away yesterday. If it's a 25k pack for league un, if you haven't packed these guys yet, you have another chance, and that would be a huge opportunity to get a Ben Yedder, Neymar, or Mbappe again this week um, with those packs. If they do like a league one specific upgrade like they did this last week, big potential with uh, the possibility to pack those again as. Well, but again, ultimate team of the season, probably a lot of market drop happening. Get your coins liquid, get them ready. And if you want to buy some high rates, definitely go for it. But I think a lot of prices are going to be dropping down this weekend as a lot of the hype for this game is going to be dying after this week, especially after this weekend league uh, and going forward. So we'll talk about stuff more on later in the week about can you buy some cards to invest? Can we still do Thursday flipping, which I think we can um, and stuff like that. But uh, especially for this weekend, a lot of stuff just going down and hopefully EA drops some good content on at least today on Saturday. All right. Drop us an SBC EA sports, please. Why wouldn't you? All right, boys. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.